Hi, this is Dave Soberi with Cox High School Sports On Demand, powered by Max Preps. Today's matchup features the University City Centurions taking on the Cathedral Catholic Dons. It's the quarterfinals, and both teams are hungry to advance to the Final Four. Primarily what I talked to the boys about was just good team defense, good awareness defensively, and then quick reaction to go on the counter. We've done a lot of counterattack stuff all year long, and I think that uh, that's got to be our key, but that starts with playing good defense first, so we give ourselves opportunity to get out on the uh, counter. The Dons have reloaded with a whole new cast of characters. You know, I think I think the most important thing is just how, how far they've come. You know, in a relatively short amount of time, uh, we really returned very, very little, uh, very few varsity players, graduated 10 guys last year, uh, including every starter. And yet yeah, these guys have stepped up and they've come a long way. And I think getting the two seed was a big accomplishment for them. And now we need to go uh, take care of business in our next two games and, and get to the get to the final game where we want to be. Both teams are ready, and so are the fans. So let's go to the highlights for this quarterfinal matchup. The Dons came out firing on all cylinders. Weston Paulson skips it in on the assist from his goalie, Brian Cook, early in the game. Just moments later, Brian Cook sets up another fast break, and Weston Paulson throws the beautiful lob pass to Stephen Bills, who puts it away to give the Dons a 3-0 lead. Then. The Dons are at it again. They move the ball around magnificently and find Bubby Beck for the score. But he was just getting started. After a Centurion turnover, the Dons are at it again with more great ball movement. Finished off by Stephen Bills for his second goal in the first period to give the Dons a 5-0 lead at the end of the first. You know, I, th I thought our first quarter was really good. We did close to what I wanted us to do. Um, we pushed counterattack and we were effective executing on the counterattack. The second period started much like the first, with total Don domination. Stephen Bills fires for his third goal of the day. Just moments later, it's Bills again this time assisting the Weston Paulson who skips it in for the score. And Bubby Beck rounds off the scoring in the first half when he slams it into the net to give the Dons an 8-2 halftime lead. At the beginning of the second half, it's Bills making things happen again. This time he finds Bubby Beck for his third goal of the day. But Beck wasn't done yet. He beats his man down the pool and gets a perfect pass from Brian Cook. And then he shows a little bit of versatility with the beautiful lob score for his fourth goal. Then teammate Bryce Foreman says, enough is enough, it's my turn to score now. That of course was okay with Puppy Beck, but he wasn't happy with just four goals. So he finds the net for a fifth time on a hustle fast break. But the Dons weren't finished yet. Two great passes get the ball to a wide open Chase Hightower, who does the rest himself and puts it in for the score. Then, it's Alex Greeson firing into the left side of the net for another Dawn score. And finally, Austin Bouchery finishes off the scoring for the Dons on a fast break, slamming it into the narrow margin in the left side of the net for the score. The final score, the Cathedral Catholic Dons, 15. The University City Centurions, three. It feels good, it's a big deal to be back here, you know, we've worked really hard for all of this. It's, it's fun to be back, it's a great feeling. I think for us, the biggest thing is, we have to play with more of a sense of urgency and more passion. I think that we, we can't, um, you know, just go through the motions, which I thought at times today we did, and so that's gonna be my biggest thing to, to my boys over the next week. I think that it was, we were so different at the beginning of the season, and then we all came together throughout the season, we have really, came together really well and we now play a lot better than we used to together. Coach Brett Armsby, he, did, he had a big deal with it, like bringing us all together, making sure that we could all play together as a team and what he picked our different uh, abilities and strengths and put them all together to make a really strong team. Thanks for watching Cox High School Sports On Demand, powered by Max Preps, keeping you on demand.